Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yes, thank you, thank you. You're far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Man, oh man, I got a crazy love story that's going on. This is a bombshell. They've been investigating this for about three years or so, and now the proof is out and got you scratching your head. <laughs> If you guys are following, uh, the French president, Emmanuel Macron and Bridget Macron, their love story is very peculiar. Now, Emmanuel Macron has married an older woman. Okay. Macron is 46 years old and the missus is 70 years old right there. Is gross. Ugh. You know, I heard that old women have worms. I don't know. <laughs> As the 39 year old moves closer to the presidency, one little fun fact about him is making the new cycle. He's married to Brigitte Tronier, who is 25 years his senior. The couple first met in high school. Macron was 15 years old. Tronier was his drama teacher and married at the time. It's unclear when their romance actually began, but Tronier, a mother of three children, divorced her husband to be with Macron when he turned 18. The couple married in 2007. But 24 year difference. 24 year difference. That's like me marrying Cher or something. Ugh, my goodness. But that's not the worst part of it. That is not the worst part of it. Shout out to Candace Owens for breaking the story, all right? I would do a reaction video to it, but I'm driving. I can't do both at one time. So if you want to go and hear the full, subscribe to Candace Owens' channel, and she'll lay it out there. But if you want some tidbits of it, hang in here, right? <laughs> so when Macron was 15 years old, a drama student, he was approached by... Bridget Macron. She was married. She had children. I think they had, what, five children, three children or something? And she left her husband and fell madly in love with this 15-year-old student. All right? So she divorced her husband and started to date uh, Macron. They got married in 2017. All right? You would think it's a happy love story and live happily ever after, but wait, there's more. Macron's opponents have taken their opposition to an extreme by creating a wild and unbelievable story. Some reporters from the French channel BFM TV said that the first lady was actually born a male and had surgery to change genders. They even claimed she was once known as Jean Michael. They mentioned a source supposedly close to Bridget Macron, but there's no real proof to back this up. They point out certain physical traits like a strong jawline and a slim figure that some might associate with masculinity. However, these characteristics alone don't prove anything. There are plenty of childhood and youth photos of Bridget available online, showing her as a little girl with her mom and during her school days. So the journalists are digging in, trying to find out her past history. And they came up with two photos. One of these photos right here. And you can see this one right here to the far left here. He looks like a boy, right? And then now they show this photo here, that this photo is kind of updated 
it don't have no no phrase around it, no, you know what I'm saying, to be in a black and white photo, it looks more modern than a black and white photo. So they get to digging some more and digging some more. No. So after a three year investigation, these journalists dropped a six part series article about the findings. There was going on with genealogists and trying to figure out where this woman came from. All right. <laughs> and they came to conclude allegedly that Brigitte Macron was actually born George Michael. What? I know, right? <laughs> George Michel, this guy here, right? Now, this guy, George Michael, has lived 30 years as a man, and then he transitioned at his 30th birthday or something, something like that, 31st birthday or something. He transitioned. This guy got five kids. And that's when he became a teacher. He was already transitioning. <laughs> this got to be the hilarious story ever. <laughs> so here you go right here. They showing you two pictures. They use some Chinese software here. And look at this right here. Look at this. You cannot deny it. George Michael is Brigitte. Now, this second photo they try to show us, this young photo of her is supposed to be seven years old. It's actually her daughter. What? Look at this right here. Why would you do that? Why would you show this picture as yourself? And then you don't think we'll figure this out? Oh, my God. What you covering up for? Why are you covering up? Love is love, right? Come on, first lady, first man. Come on out. What the hell is this? All their lives, when Macron became president, political opponents and journalists constantly invented fake stories about them. For example, Macron was once said to be allegedly gay, and about Brigitte, they once said that she was a man and changed her gender. But it's hard to believe, looking at how the supposes treat each other tenderly. Yeah, I know you all say I'm a conspiracy theorist, I'm a homophobe, a transphobe, and all that, blah, blah, blah. But this is so easy to debunk. This right here, there's no pictures of Brigitte first 30 years. Not when she went to college, not when she was pregnant, nothing, nothing. This is so easy to debunk, but they don't have no photos of her first 30 years. And so now they're embarrassed. And guess what they do? They go and sue the journalists. They went and sued the journalists. Yep. Two of them got fines. And uh, I think one of them went to jail. I'm not sure. But yeah, now they start going on defense and sh trying to shut down the story. Again, if you want to debunk this, you go to the press, bring out your brother, George Michael, and say, this is my brother. Yeah, we do look alike. Right? Or pull out some photos when you was pregnant. You got three kids, so you so you say, where are the photos? And the worst part about it, they said she was married, and your husband, they can't find him. And all of a sudden, he's dead. He passed away. Right? Right? What is this? <laughs> so, there you go, guys. You tell me what do you think, all right? Now, YouTube doesn't allow conspiracy theory on your page. They're going to flag it. So, as your host, I personally do not believe in this story, okay? Just like the one about Michael Obama. All right? <laughs> so, <laughs> that's that, all right? I am just repeating what I heard for entertainment purposes, all right? So don't come after me. Instead, leave a comment. <laughs> anyway, that's my thought for today. If you guys got any value of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends. And tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right.
I'll see you again. And all you first ladies, get off my lawn.